use all three <coughs> different microscopes. So if you are not familiar with how to find things on the microscope, you'll probably want to come over and watch this. Just please don't stand in front of Andre because he's going to be filming it so I can put this up there for reference for you if you're not sure how to do this. So all of our microscopes here are electric and we have three different types that you'll find in our lab right now. This one here, its power source is in the back on there and you can always just look on the stage here to see if the light is on. Then this one here, you adjust the light on the side and the power for this one is on the side. Usually if you feel around, you'll find a power button. And then the power for this one on the back as well. Obviously, none of them are going to turn on until you plug them in. So they all have a stage on there and stage clips to hold the slides on. So the slide goes in here. You don't want to lift this up. It's just meant to gently hold it in place. If you find something on a slide and you want to be able to come back to it, by just holding it in place in here, you can actually use these little lines on the sides of the stage to make a note of where you found something on that slide to come back and look for it, or if you had to tell somebody else. So this arm goes here. This one, it doesn't move that much. It's got a smaller arm to it. And then this one here has an arm that goes down. So all of our microscopes have four different lenses on there. When you start to focus on something, you want to start on the shortest lens, which is going to be the 4x magnification. All of them are parfocal, which means once you get it focused under one lens, it will be easier to find it, and it's just fine adjustment that's needed on the next lens. So you always start with this all the way up at the top. You're going to move the stage all the way up. You've got your coarse focus, which usually is a larger knob, and the fine focus is a smaller knob. Sometimes it's a separate knob like it is on this one. These, you've got the coarse that's closer back, and then the fine focus that's the smaller one on there. And so you also want to make sure that the light on the slide is actually projecting through where your specimen is. So you would find it on your coarse focus. Some of them have pointers that are going to point to where things are. Others don't on there. It just depends on the slide. So once it's in focus like that, you can draw what you need to or move on to the next one. So the next step, you'll notice I don't move it up and down once it's in focus. Slide in the 10x lens. Then all you need is the fine focus to get it into place. And then the 40x lens in here is going to be the highest dry magnification that you'll use. And again, just the fine focus to get it into place. So for most things that are not bacteria, this is the highest magnification you would use. For red blood cells and bacteria, we use the oil lens on there. To do the oil, you have to make sure you get it focused under the 40x. If you try and skip any of these steps, you will not find it on the oil in there. So to put on the oil, you're going to move it between the two lenses. And there is special oil that is specifically for the microscopes. Some of them are in little bottles like this. Sometimes you'll find it in jars like this. This one just has a place that you touch to put the oil on. This one is actually a little squeezed top on here. The oil is rather sticky, so while you may think more is better, that's not always the case in there. When you're putting stuff on slides like oil, more tends to mean more gets on you rather than being able to see it better. The oil is only used with the 100x lens, and the 100x lens has to have oil to work properly, otherwise you're not going to be able to see anything. So you'll slide it in, and that 100x lens here is actually going to be touching the oil. So then all it should take is fine focus again to get it in focus you can find what you need. So when you're done with it, we use lens paper to clean this off. 
And this is one of the things that will wreck the microscope. So if you're looking through a microscope that's foggy, it's probably that somebody put oil on the wrong lens or they didn't wipe off oil, neither of which I can fix. So when you're done with it, you remove the slide and you wanna wipe off the oil. You wanna wipe off the oil in between each slide you look at because the longer it sits on the there, the more it will seep into the lens and I can't get them off to get any oil out of them. Once that happens, it's permanently foggy, and microscopes are very expensive. They're not gonna get replaced just because somebody left oil on it until we can assign them to people, and then you get a bill to replace it. Then with the slide, you just wipe the oil off of the slide and put it back for the next person. Papers into the garbage. And that's how you use the microscope. If it came with a cover, on it, please put the cover back on. It helps to keep dust out of the lenses on there. We shut off the light, wrap around the cords, put them in the cabinet. Some of them store better if you turn the headpiece around in there to do that. If you wear corrective lenses with contacts, usually people just leave the contact lenses in. If you wear glasses, it may be easier for you to see without the glasses on. So I've heard people say both ways in there. So do what works best for you when looking questions on using a microscope.